Okay, I've got some little video clips and some pictures here of some stuff going on with the house lately. This right here just shows um, kind of where they were starting at up on the, the kind of like the bar and grill area up on the roof. Thought I'd show a little the progress they've made up there, kind of smoothing all this out. Got the sink installed. definitely looking a lot more finished off up there compared to what it was really at this point you know it's just uh, you can see how nice and smooth and finished everything is that faucet there uh, <laughs> I bought that over here I think I can't remember if it was at um, Lowe's or Home Depot we bought some different fixtures and sent over there and I really like that one faucet and we ended up um, buying it and sending it over and you know the water just kind of like comes out there you know like a little waterfall kind of thing <clears throat> and I liked it so we just thought okay there you go. we'll just use it up on the on the roof so I don't know we'll see hopefully it's useful I was just attracted to it when we saw it in the store so we thought we'll find some place to use it interesting sink there kind of just there on the on the one side that particular faucet doesn't pivot or anything so hopefully it's something that you know works out okay there's the view from our roof pretty nice local neighborhood the highway going by This is just a little bit of a nighttime view. I've got some pictures in here later of, um, you know, we got some more of the pin lights and stuff installed that have shown up. They're, they're getting some more lights put on. And there's what it's like up there at night, though. And here we are down behind the back. I wanted to get some more video of that. <laughs> There's so much stuff here. You know, a lot of the wood and stuff they used during the construction still hanging out there. And some of the things they took out of the other little house before they you know, demolished it. I was always wondering what that piece of rebar was sticking up there. And I finally discovered that. See, when I did the original design, you know, just because every time you see a design for a house over there, they have a dirty kitchen out back. You know, I put dirty kitchen on that area on the drawing I did. So I guess they actually started constructing something out there. I didn't realize at first, actually, when I did that, how much lower it was outside there on the back of the house and the side. <clears throat> That's the little ladder coming down out of the kitchen door right now. see they got a bunch of stuff out here but they've got this little area in the middle with a grill on it you know so they can kind of do some grilling if they want to use wood or something to grill instead of gas uh, I'm not sure what the future of that's going to be when we get over there I told my wife <clears throat> nice and tall down there I can put in a basketball hoop but hard to dribble around down there with that thing in the middle but <laughs> I um, I had no clue they were doing that I don't think neither of us did my wife or I either one but I guess somehow they got it in their head since we said dirty kitchen in the original drawing that they were gonna put something there <clears throat> but uh, you know, if they want to use it for now we can leave it but I don't think that's going to survive after we move over there. I'd like that to be a nice open space.
but you can see basically they're just storing a lot of, of junk and supplies and stuff down there. Little drainage area there. I originally had thought, you know, in some of my drawings, I kind of had to step up along the side of the house and then step up, you know, into the onto the porch, and then, you know, have a step down inside into the interior, because I was, you know, worried about maybe flooding or whatever. I didn't realize at the time the way they were doing this, you know, how much, you know, how tall it is outside there. There's a the the actual doors on that side are up off the ground quite a bit so they already had thought about that they were there on the ground and knew what they were doing so that's one nice thing as I've said before that dealing with people who know what they're doing and we yeah, there's our kitty cat there but it's nice when you have people like that you can trust that you know trust in their expertise to handle things they, you know, they already had it figured out what they were doing yeah, I'm really, really happy. There's our little wood grill, <laughs> or charcoal, I guess, if you want. <coughs> There's just another picture of like that drainage place there where we got some downspouts and stuff coming down, I guess, there. But they really did a good job of thinking things through as far as the drainage and make sure we don't have any flooding issues. Once again, just very tall down there. Probably about four meters under there. There's a little gate going out to the side. This is out in front of the house, looking off the front porch. Right now they've got some little dog cages and stuff. But that eventually they'll probably have a gate there, you know. <coughs> little road goes back in with our neighbors some of our other relatives you know this is in the kitchen area before they started putting um, we got some drawers put in the island in the middle so you can see that on the back there and this is underneath and you can see here in the next couple of shots the um, the doors and the drawers that the guy made Kind of put that little curly Q pattern there in those middle two. The cat, of course, is checking things out. Those handles there are some stuff. We sent over a bunch of different handles and things that we bought that we liked. And so they used, um, you know, some of that hardware. Looks like pretty good work. And here, I guess that's the bed they're building for my one niece to put in her room. Got some, you know, putting some drawers in the side of it there. The cat. <laughs> Cat's always supervising. Okay, here we are back upstairs at night. I just kind of threw in some different clips here. Okay, there running some water out of my faucet. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with, um, with what we ended up with. <laughs> You know, every time my wife posts some pictures on Facebook, somebody will say, you know, say it's a mansion, you know. And I guess it looks, um, I guess it looks pretty tall and, and big there in person. You know, it is kind of, you know, certainly for the area or whatever, but, you know, the, the floor area is actually only like 9 by 10 meters, which is not that far, you know. I mean... With the balcony on the front and the porch, like, you know, a meter and a half, and then a balcony in the back is a meter. 
but still, you know, somebody could stand at the back of our kitchen if they're really fast and run out the front door and be out on the road in like a second and a half. It's not like, you know, when you actually stop to think about the actual dimensions, it's not like it's that huge, but it is really tall. This is before we got some of the pin lights in here. My wife's chandelier from Ikea. I said, um, I thought it like Lazada before, but yeah, that's actually, we got those lights actually from Ikea. But the one thing we did as far as, you know, trying to make the most use of our space, this is a little bit older video here. I may have put this in something before. Um, but the one thing um, we did, we wanted to keep the the kitchen and the dining and you know, the living room area kind of open as much as we could and have it you know, a good bit of space. And um, you know, we've got the four four bedrooms upstairs, that bathroom there where they've got the curtain right now because the door is not done for that yet. And then we've got a master bath. Um, and you can see the, the toilet there and the sinks we've got. We sent that hardware over from here to this other stuff we bought here in America and sent over. And they managed to use it on the sinks that we bought. Looking back up through our stairwell. But, you know, I wanted to kind of keep the... Um, you know, the bedrooms, that kind of like private family area, separated from, you know, the, the common areas downstairs with, um, you know, the guests and visitors and everything going on down there. Try and keep the family life more, um, more private and um, not have, you know, a lot, of, a lot of the houses you see over there, uh, you know, it seems like um, even a lot of the expat, you know, YouTubers I've seen, They'll have like a big common area in the middle and then have, you know, some bedrooms off to the side. And um, that might be convenient. Maybe I wish I had done that when I'm old and climbing up and down the steps. But um, I wanted to, you know, keep the downstairs area more for the, the entertaining and cooking and all of that. And, you know, the family can have their private area upstairs where you don't have... Um, you know, people being nosy in your stuff, you can go up there and get some privacy if you want. <clears throat> All right, these lights here I showed before when we got those. Um, but we've got some more lights now. Let me see. This is, um, okay, this is still like an older video. We tried to put some lights in up on the second floor to brighten it up a little. This is in the master bath. I'm not exactly sure what the exact layout's going to be here. And we've got these black towel that, you know, that shower area in the back there. I'm not sure exactly what the total dimensions are going to be on that, how they're working that all out. I guess uh, maybe it'll be a surprise for me when I see exactly what they, what they decided they're doing there. You know, I know what we what we drew and sent, but we'll see. Okay, here we go. I think this, yeah, we got the lights up here on the second floor now. What my wife actually wanted them to do was put one on each side of the building, one over on the far right there, and they put them both around the, the master bedroom sliding door. So I guess we'll put two more on the other side. And this, I guess, is on the back balcony. They put one on each end of the back balcony. And here you can see the pin lights up top. <clears throat> Got pin lights up there all around the corner there. You can see them around the edges in that upper part. And um, they've got space for a whole lot more all through the house. I forget how many my wife said are going to be in our, be our bedroom. I think I mentioned before that I think the total for the whole house like 155 of them so <laughs> we won't have any shortage of light
guess we're back down on the second floor, I guess. Oh yeah, this is in our, this is the master bath again. See, over on that side was kind of supposed to be maybe a, a bathtub or something. And then figure things out here as we go. This here, they had their first big gathering in the house this past weekend. It was the 22nd anniversary of my wife's father's death. And uh, so we had all kinds of family there. From what I understand, there was like maybe 70 to 100 people. So everybody got the chance to come over and, you know, enjoy hanging out in the house. <clears throat> but, um, you know, like five and a half months ago, this house was not even there. There was nothing there. And now, you know, we've got this going on. We need to get a nice big TV in the living room there. The the smaller one they had, I think it got messed up when they were running some of the power tools and stuff stuff, you know, whenever they were when they were working on the construction of the house. I think probably like a surge or something kind of messed up their television. So we have to get a nice big TV mounted on the wall over there. Not sure what they're singing. I've kind of got that muted a little. There's the dog. All the pets came in. But everybody having fun hanging out. That's one thing about it. There's plenty of space for everybody to hang out and um, enjoy themselves. And basically. That's what I, the, the rest of what I've got here is just kind of pictures of everybody. You can see we've got like 15 people hanging out around the island there. <clears throat> they had um, a 56 kilo lechon for this. Their only other option was something like 18 kilos or something. So I assume there was plenty of food for everybody. Actually, the guy who raises the pigs, he uh, that's the side business of the other guy who was doing our, our electrical work, I think. Got a lot of our family, and cousins, and I think some of my nieces, a couple of my nieces, like friends from school came over. And there we got some more good food. People hanging out, just various different family members and relatives and friends, I guess. Some of my wife's aunts and cousins. There they are, our intrepid trio doing their karaoke. It's just nice to see everybody there having fun and enjoying themselves, have the chance to get in there. I really like our stairs here, even though they aren't finished, don't really have the, the final wood in there. It's nice to, to see everything here and how it's all working out. Seems like there's a decent bit of room. And um, yeah, breaking out the booze. go some more some more singing action there's my one niece showing one of her cousins something on the keyboard in this last picture okay you can see here they put a real hurting on that lechon but what I really wanted to look at here you know this view looking back in from the corner of the kitchen you know this right here is really um, you know, what I like about this house, you know, I got the stairwell going up there with that nice tall window, bringing in the light, you know, the light in the living room. And I can't wait to get over there and check it out myself.